Hello, good morning, superstar in uh, real estate. Uh, today is Thursday, and uh, you know, uh, you know the uh, tradition that every Thursday we wanted to take some time out from our, you know, tight schedule and uh, share with you some of the idea in investing, uh, development, management, and funding. Right. So uh, I just came back from. Um, the recon uh, ICSC this year in Las Vegas, Nevada. Fantastic program uh, that where we gather in um, almost, um, I talked to the uh, ICSC in New York um, and we got over 24,000 attendees. A lot of owner broker, a lot of company, a lot of um, um, investor, a vendor, you name it, right? So it's great time for us to come together and then celebrate you know, the uh, about our industry and we learn from each other. And at we meeting, it kind of reflecting, you know, on where we are now, it is 2023 versus, you know, 2022 in May. That's where we first have the event after the two years absent, right? So, uh, you know, the real estate retail has been good. It's coming back strong. The, so there's so much that going on in the industry. But one of the, the challenges that we have uh, right now is that the cost of money, the interest rate is really uh, double, you know, compared to 14, 16 months ago. So I went to the uh, financial pavilion to visit all of our friends, uh, you name it, right? Uh, broker, mortgage broker, a private lender, uh, also uh, um, um, all the fund that, um, you know, that loan money to the industry. And it's pretty, it pretty, you know, not that excited and enthusiastic about this industry because, you know, we know the interest rate uh, went so high Right. So, um, you know, with the, uh, with the, with the fail of, uh, some of the local bank set at the, uh, Third Republic Bank and also the Signature Bank of California, that led to a lot of, uh, concern from the lending, uh, sector. Right. So, um, it's interesting. And at we, uh, visited the uh, financing, uh, pavilion and look at, uh, loan lending. What are available availability of the capital market? That led me to the uh, the next subject I wanted to share with you today. You know, in a time like where we are right now, um, you know, beside uh, CMBS, Trendymac, um, Bank Loan, and variety of uh, lending program out there for income producing commercial real estate asset. Um, I thought instantly of uh, EB-5 financing for builder investor, right? And uh, how do we, uh, how do we cap, you know, this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of financing that available for new project in, in a very, very critical, difficult time of the capital market that we're in today. Uh, what I mentioned is the, uh, um, EB-5 financing for builder, right? And uh, for uh, a project, so I started the uh, get involved with the EB5 industry back in uh, 2007 uh, at the commercial broker. Um, also, you know, did a bunch of uh, acquisition and uh, development. Also, put together uh, legal document offering package for uh, for the um, for the project. So I uh, learned a lot from it. But EB-5 financing uh, foreign direct investment into the U.S. Uh, market is uh, very important in today's market. So a little bit history about the program, why we create EB-5 financing for builder and for uh, investor, right? Because, you know, today, Thursday, we talking about investing, right? Development, right? We're talking to direct to you, at an investor, at a builder, at a developer, 
other other finance uh, financing professional that provide uh, assistance for project, right? Uh, so a uh, little bit about myself is that yes, you know, uh, Hong Kong is that where I started uh, on the image that uh, I saw here on the screen, nineteen ninety one, right? And so nineteen eighty nine, that's where I got to Hong Kong and stay in the refugee camp with my mother and my brother. Uh, we came on four different boats and Hong Kong, as you know, I came back last month um, uh, and hosting an, uh, host an investment event there. It's still Hong Kong, but except that's a lot of things have changed. The demand for immigrant investors to migrate uh, to North America is all time high, as you know, uh, Hong Kong returned to um, China in 1997 that create uh, a few million uh, immigrant investor that migrated to my neighbor state over here in Vancouver, Canada, right? And then so the reason I brought up Hong Kong and then I brought up Vietnam and I brought up Taipei, Taiwan because all this place that I've been through last month and visit a lot of uh, in a lot of investor over there. Uh, and uh, and the issue is the same thing, right? The, it's very, very high demand. Uh, I met a lot of you uh, from Hong Kong, uh, a lot of you coming all the way from Beijing, Shanghai, uh, Hainan, and other area to come and meet up with me at the event in Hong Kong. But you know, the story of the uh, immigrant investor that looking to migrate to a different uh, different country at all time high, as you know. So, so 350 or so investor broker that came and meet me in Hong Kong. Uh, same thing with uh, Taiwan on April 14, when I were there, right? So, you know, the room were packed at the, at the uh, Shangri-La uh, Hotel. And uh, a lot of you still expressed to me uh, the same concern, which is like, a lot of uh, when I were there during this week uh, in Taiwan, as you know, if you go back and look at CNN, we have 92 um, military jets from China flow over to Taiwan. As you already know, if you own home, if you have, you know, if your family is in there, you probably thinking about what can you do to provide a peace of mind. Uh, for your family, right? You already know that story and what, that's why I'm here, like I'm from Vietnam. So, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the migration out of Vietnam to the United States uh, is about over two, it's about three million if you do, and then more than two million live right here in the United States. So the, uh, so then Vietnam become the third largest EB-5 investor to United States right now, according to the, USCIS, right? And uh, so I understand, you know, this subject very, very well. And we'll, and then we'll marry between commercial real estate development and EB-5 regional center into a one funding program. It's called US Asia EB-5 Fund. And today I'm sharing with you that idea about EB-5 financing, why I started the program, right? Where I came from, why I think from Asia, a, the population is about 67% of the world population. We have the three largest market that migrated, invested in North America, right? So uh, we have India at 1.5 billion. Right now, India, India it bypassed China, it be, become the largest country uh, on earth, One point uh, over 1.4 billion people, 1.3 billion people from China, and then we got a hundred million that come from Vietnam, right? Asia is very large. So if you can see 68% of the world population is from Asia and the United States, we have 340 million people. So we are representing 4% of the world population where Asia have 68% of the world population. And that's the reason why we connect you at Asia Pacific into one program, right? So that's the story, What that's why the regional center named this way. But EB-5 financing, how it is important for the investor for 
builder, for developer, for lender in today's market where the interest rate is double, uh, the, the interest rate is all time high. Uh, what do I believe the interest rate gonna adjust uh, down or up? Um, well, I think that's uh, something that we do not control. As I always mention, right? We do in deal, we do in real estate, we do business. You know, we run in our company, we run in our portfolio project. We do not control what going on in the market. Like you don't, you don't, you don't control what the Federal Reserve gonna do, what bank gonna do, right? And how much interest rate they're gonna lend you on your project. But you control what you can do and where do you need to go and find low uh, cost for the uh, interest uh, for the f uh, funding, right? So EB5, if EB5 financing is one of them, right? Because most of the investor in in the EB5 industry, uh, they seek in the American dream with the visa and the green car. It's more important than the return uh, for the investment, right? So that's why uh, EB5 financing is probably something that all of our investor, all of our builder, all of our develop, de developer should learn about it right now. Um, so I picture of me in the screen that me probably 34 years ago that tried to come to America with the American dream. But then, you know, uh, but, but then I look in, you know, I have a chance to meet with uh, governor of uh, Nevada, right? You know, when we have the convention there. You know, I have a conversation with the speaker of the house, you know, about this particular program at far at the mayor of the city. So we're looking through the, you know, the area of um, in the past 30 years, right? It's starting out from the administration uh, and their immigration policy toward immigration, starting out with President Bush Sr., right? So that was 1988, right? And then after that, uh, after President Bush Sr., then we have President Bill Clinton, right? It, uh, from different party uh, that um, run the administration for eight years, right? So that would be 1992 when I came to the United States from Vietnam. But President Bill Clinton is one of the president that opened up uh, the commerce and the trade normalization with Vietnam in uh, in the in 1993, like when I came to the U.S. So so then after President Clinton, then you know uh, we have the good a year for immigration policy. That's why EB5 financing it flow into United States is similar to President Bush Senior, right? So the program is wide open, starting in UK and Japan and South Korea. But um, but then after President Clinton for eight years, then we have uh, President Bush Jr., right? President Bush Jr. also run the country, United States, for eight years, um, you know, and his brother and his family very tied to immigrants. So we have a great policy for the immigration and EB-5 and financing uh, continue to flow into the United States. Uh, but, uh, but after eight years of the President Bush Sr., we have President Obama. President Obama, it, uh, and the immigration policy program, it's a, it's a great one, but the significant during the Obama administration is that the China, the, the largest investors, uh, in residential real estate and also EB5 investment, China took over 82% of total investment in EB-5 regional center to the United States uh, under, uh, uh, during the Obama administra administration. So it all time high, huge demand, money flowing to Seattle, Bellevue, Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York, and all the metropolitan market, right? Uh, but all that, and then, uh, and then all that got uh, turned up uh, during the, uh, the Trump administration, we have the most challenge in immigration policy. So then the trade war happened in 2017 with making the, um, the tariff, the tariff tax for uh, import export from China to United, to United, to United States between 16, 32% of the tariff, which is going to shut down the uh, flow in the product and, and investment to the U.S. and, uh, the relationship it, uh, it getting deteriorated, it getting worse. 
uh, and it's only get worse before it get any better. Because I look in at the uh, lawmaker from both sides, the right side and the left side, we don't see any way that that relationship can be normalized, you know, uh, since the President Nixon signing the contract with Beijing uh, to, to normal trade with China. So we have to find a different way to, you know, to run this business, right? To run this real estate business and continue to, although I know one thing that, again, you don't control what government policy, we don't control the market, right? You, but you control what you do, right? You control the funding that go into your project, right? In what I call creative financing. So uh, the time that we're in after the president, um, after the President Bush, and then we have President Biden, the new administration. So what happened with the President Biden, is he signed into law a five years extension of the EB-5 program, right? But we put a very strict law into the, uh, uh, into the EB-5 program, it's called the integrity law, right? So that applied to all the regional center with the purpose of, you know, protecting the investor. So it's a great program, very good for the investor to invest into this great country, right? So that program opened up from, you know, from 2022 to 2027. So that would be the longest uh, extension of the program, or, or, although it put a lot of restriction into the program, that gonna be very, very good for the investor and for the industry, right? So we look at where we are right now, the uh, cooperation between the program, uh, the, the, the visa program. And again, as I mentioned, this program is for those that wanted to get US citizenship by investing into the TEA target employment area and also rural area with 20%, we can talk, we can, we can have great training for this partic particular program at a different day. Today, um, I just show you, you know, why this creative financing of EB-5 is very good for you as an investor, builder, um, or you invested into any company that have this kind of financing. I think it's wonderful, right? Uh, so uh, background, Windermere, Prudential, housing i started this in 1998 right this is my 24 years over 6000 unit that we managed to uh, uh through our company so the uh, so the so the way to go forward is um looking at this particular program right so i wrote down here that yes the more you give it the more you get right life is about giving right so you got to think about like in the challenging time today, what can you do to give more to your client, you know, to your customer, to your investor, right? So in investing in your in uh, project, in your own property, right? What can you give beside the investment? And you give the most important for the investor, which is the American dream right? You at green car. So you got two to your own investor, right? We'll show you how to do that at the in-depth training. That way we're going to have with our lawyer, um, great lawyer of immigration that we're going to bring in in NAS, right? So the, um, I wrote down here that yes, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together, right? We have a system in play. We have, I escaped out of Vietnam. I'm a, I used to be a both people, right? Before I become a refugee, bef before I become a U.S. citizen, and I be before I become a regional center owner in United States, right? Which is U.S. Asia Pacific Regional Center. We figured out we have a system. We have a ball. And if you want to go to that destination, you just jump on the ball, right? Get on board, come with us, right? We have the senior loan working out with a lot of uh, investor lender in the United States through ICSC connection, right? We have a uh, regional center approved by federal government to, to, to do that. And we got a great modular bill. We see tomorrow, we're gonna be sharing that with you. 
or go into our library of video and search for that modular bill tomorrow we share great information about that right so uh let's go together in today's market i believe that you know we've been i've been through three already the recession september 11 the collapse of the uh of the market in 2007 2008 uh, uh, and you know the pandemic uh so we've been through it already right so we have the experience how to do that so i do i do think that um um you know we're gonna do it again this time it's gonna be better right so um eb5 program looking at the uh, uh affiliation that we have with the regional center in 24 stake you know that going from washington state oregon california other area too that we can partner and do and deal with you right so uh that the affiliation that we have although we're starting right here in seattle washington right i mean this is where i've been living here since 1993 30 years where right? we've done over uh many different eb5 fund right so uh great market area uh you know you got all this firm here, Bowen, Microsoft, Amazon, uh, Expedia, and, and Starbucks, they're all here, right? Strong economic engine that drive forward, that helping the real estate market, right? So investing is all about location, location, and location, but you know, this location of the investment, it very, very strong, right? Fundamentally, right? So. If you were sitting here and you're watching this program and you say, well, how do I get into get into the EB-5 financing? How can I get EB-5 dollar invest into my project, right? How do we tap into this amazing creative financing, you know, foreign direct investment into the United States? Uh, I have a good news for you. We have a great training for you. And we're gonna train from, we're gonna train very in-depth about this program for you to learn right but i would say that you know between the regional relationship between the regional center which is the managing partner and you are the client which is the job creation enterprise and we can sp sponsor your project right and so you know it's just like anybody going to the public offering right they gotta go raise fund what do we help you to bring we bring you the dream team that we've been working for you know, over uh, 17 years, right? So we bring the dream team. Who that? Who is that gonna be included in there? Well, immigration attorney, right? And you know that we work with the best immigration attorney in the industry. We bring in security attorney. They're gonna look at your, you know, PPM, private play memorandum, and structure the deal for you. We bring in the business plan writer, business writer that, you know, that gonna take, a, take, take, a, Take your uh, performer cost to build, uh, cat flow, income expand, uh, pulling together a business plan that gonna get accepted by the USCIS. And then we're gonna bring in the best job creation economic, you know, somebody that I've been working with over 17 years, uh, fantastic uh, consultant that can give you a complete package ready to go, right? So if you sit in here and say, I, I want to get involved. I need to tap into a system that have everything there. We are the one. We uh, so we can help you, you know, to do that very quickly. And then so the when you get a legal package that including the feasibility study, you know, about whether or not the project is uh, feasible, rentable, saleable, right? And then you look at the uh, reasonable construction budget. Uh, looking at the financial performa, which we're going to be creating for you, a financial performa based on your number, right? And then we're going to let take a look at the uh, market uh, comparative market analysis. And um, I've been in real estate for over 24 years. We know really well about the market uh, of the uh, whether it uh, hospitality, apartment, single family subdivision. You know, we can help you getting a good market uh, market report that uh from the best people that are doing that you know after that we're gonna you know after the math uh math the plan business math the plan and economic impact report together with all the support legal document component 
you know, from offering memorandum to loan document from the fund to the JCE, and then the subscription agreement, the, and then the entire, you know, I-956 project approval to limited partnership approval from immigration. We got it ready in one package, and we can pull all this together and give it to you, right? So that you can, uh, so the project will be ready. So, so then the question, the, the last point I wanted to share with you is like, why would people invest through a licensed regional center, right? Well, you know, 92% or more of the immigrant investor through EB-5, they invest through a regional center, right? Uh, it, you can invest on your own, you can buy a McDonald's Burger King franchise, and you can operate that on your own with the help of the immigration lawyer and, uh, and FCC lawyer. Yes, you can do that, but it's very challenging. I have been operating business in United States for, you know, over 24 years. It's very challenging, right? To keep the enterprise running and create the 10 job to comply with the federal government, USCIS, CIS, to keep your resident status, right? So why people invest into this funding, uh, this investment? Because it, it's a fast process for qualified investor that want to obtain the green card, right? The easiest. You, uh, you can uh, invest into a fund and forget about it. Let the company run, run the program and create a job that you need, right? And, the, and then, of course, the visa and the green card. So you don't need to go out there and purchase or building up a new enterprise, new business on your own, right? Very challenging. And then your money that you invest into the fund will return back to you in five years plus interest and principal, right? So then you have to invest through a regional, region, a licensed regional center. If it's not our regional center, then it's your, you got to find a licensed regional center to invest with, right? Most important thing, why people invest in this one is that they have to prove the legitimate sort of the investment. Very important because you're dealing with a U.S. government to process in your document, right? So you can live anywhere in the United States, Miami, Florida, New York, California, doesn't matter, right? You can live anywhere. So husband, wife, children under 21 is eligible to receive the green card, right? So today, ladies and gentlemen, it's my superstar investor developer builder i'm sharing with you this great creative financing it's called eb5 financing right when you look at the traditional financing in today's market uh it's pretty uh, pretty high it's very challenging i just been through and talked to all the lender uh a lot of lender out there right at the uh, uh, at the recon at the convention it's very uh it's very lonely there, you know. Not many, not many lenders sold up. And how do you fund the project when the land, when the lending, when the money, and the, 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 when the fund is not there? So, uh, so we serve it focused on the individual that getting the green car, right? And um, for for the investor and uh, for the project uh, that needs some help with guidance, support, training licensed regional center, we certainly can help, right? So um, that's what I got for today, Thursday, uh, investor idea and strategy that would help in you to uh, growing your business, to striving instead of surviving in today's market, right? Surviving and thriving, okay? So I hope that you can join me and learn more about EB-5 financing for developer and investor and builder and banker, right? Which we're gonna open up. So with that in mind, um, before you walk away, the more you learn, the more you earn.